হ্যালো এভরিওয়ান বিউটিস ব্লগে তোমাদের সবাইকে স্বাগত জানাই যে যেখান থেকে আমার ভিডিওটা দেখছো আশা করছি সবাই ভালো আছো সুস্থ আছো আমরাও ভালো আছি আমরা এই যে লিভারপুলে বন্ধুরা রয়েছি এখন এখান থেকে আমরা যাব তোমার ওপেন বাসে উঠবো তারপর পুরো লিভার লিভারপুলের যে সিটিটা পুরো আমরা ঘুরে দেখব আমাদের সাথে তোমরাও দেখতে থাকো লিভারপুল সিটি দেখার পরে আমরা যাব এই ওপেন বাসেই যাব আবার যাব তোমার ফুটবল ক্লাব ইংল্যান্ডের যে সব থেকে বড় ফুটবল ক্লাব সেইখানে যাব তারপরে অনেক মিউজিয়াম আছে মিউজিয়াম যাব এখানে এখানে তোমার যে টাইগার ইয়ে তোমার টাইটানিকের একটা মিউজিয়াম পুরো সব যেসব টাইটানিকের জিনিস ধ্বংসস্তূপ সব রয়েছে ওই মিউজিয়ামটাই যাব তোমরা দেখো বন্ধুরা আমাদের সঙ্গে সব ভিডিওগুলো ভালো লাগবে আশা করছি অ্যামেলিয়া ঘুমিয়ে গেছে খুব সুন্দর ভিউটা খুব সুন্দর জায়গাটা খুব ভালো লেগেছে আমাদেরও আমরাও ইংল্যান্ডে এসেছি কিন্তু এই লিভারপুলে প্রথম আমাদের ওখানে আসা হয়েছে আমি আর অ্যাঞ্জেলিনা গাড়িয়ে কতগুলো ফটো তুলে নিয়েছি অ্যামেলিয়া তুলবে না ওয়েদারটাও খুব ভালো ছিল সুন্দর সানি ওয়েদার সারা দিনটা আমরা খুব আনন্দ করছি বন্ধুরা এরকম ফার্স্ট ব্লগ তোমরা অনেকেই দেখেছ আমাকে অনেক সাপোর্ট করছো দেখেছি এটা সেকেন্ড ব্লগ হচ্ছে জানি না এটা কত দূর হয় তারপর থার্ড ব্লগ করতে হবে মিউজিয়াম যাব ফুটবল ক্লাব যে লন্ডন আইরি মতো এটাও যে তোমার ওপেন বাসের যে পিছনে যে গোল ইয়েটা দেখতে পাচ্ছ জলটা খুব নীল জল ছিল একদম ব্লু ব্লু পিছনে এই যে আমাদের ফ্যামিলি আমরা সবাই অ্যাঞ্জেলিনা ড্যাডি আমি অ্যামেলিয়া বন্ধুরা আমি তোমাদের সাথে বেশি কথা বলবো না ওপেন বাসের ভিতরের ভিডিও যে আমাদের গাইড নেট আছে লিভারপুল ওপেন বাস আমরা এখন যে পূর্ব লিভারপুল ওপেন বাস গাইড করবে উনি সব বলে দেবে এল এটা রয়্যাল অ্যালবার্ট ডগ এটা লিভারপুল 18th সেঞ্চুরি আই থিং 18th সেঞ্চুরি ডগ এটা আমরা ওপেন বাসের ভিতরে উঠে উপর থেকে এই যে মুরগিটা করা হচ্ছে এখান থেকে পুরো Yeah. Yeah. This is like yeah. cooler at north. 
Back home, yeah, one bridge. It's been so hot. So, so hot. But over here, not like that. No, it's big. Oh, yeah. It's big. 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 On your right you've got the Hilton Hotel, which is built on the site of the World's Fair Centre Commercial Web Dock, the remains of which are still beneath the Hilton Hotel to this day. But if you look to your left here, ladies and gentlemen, you can see the Hilton Dock, which is the oldest working dock in Liverpool. So the wall here is built using stone from Liverpool Castle. If you were hoping to see Liverpool Castle today, I'm afraid you're a bit late, because it was demolished in the 1700s, around the same time as this dock was built. Now there's lots to do in the Albert Dock area and on the waterfront. Uh, on the other side of the dock there, the big white building you can see, which looks a little bit like, I don't know. Is know the and that is the Liverpool Museum, uh, where you will find out the whole history of the city. Well, you're probably going to find out about that now with me. Come on, join me, just stay with me and I'll tell you everything. You get to see some artifacts in there. I am an artifact myself, uh, but they have, you know, a bigger choice when you get in there. If you look to your right, you can see the striking building inside of the road. This is the Streaky Bacon building over here, which is actually Albion House, the old headquarters of the White Star Shipping Line. The company that owned the Titanic were based in here. This is where the Titanic was registered, which is why it said Liverpool on the side of the elevated ship. It's now a hotel called 30 James Street. On your left, the blocky Art Deco style building that you can see is the George's Dock building, because this was once the George's Dock. So that's the George's Dock building there, which is actually just a ventilation shaft for the Mersey Tunnel. And we're gonna turn left as soon as these traffic lights let us go into the ferry terminal. So the ferry terminal is where you go if you want to get the Mersey Ferry. Which is made famous, of course, by Jerry and the Pacemakers with their 1964 international number one hit, Ferry Cross the Mersey. Jerry Marsden, who was the singer with Jerry and the Pacemakers, died just last year, and they have renamed the ferry terminal after him, so it is now the Jerry Marsden the ferry terminal. There are also some Beatles statues here. Uh, a little bit of the canal that you can see. There's all sorts of attractions here. It's the closest spot to both the Liverpool Museum and the BNE, which is the British Music Experience, the history of rock and pop in Britain from 1945 onwards. You can also wander around here looking at our Three Graces. The first of the Three Graces is to the left here with the domes on top. It's the Port of Liverpool building, uh, once home to the Mersey Docks and Harbour Board. The middle building is the Cunard building, which was the home of the Cunard shipping line. And the last building along there is the Liver building, with the birds on top. So that is the old Liver building. It's the home of the Royal Liver Assurance Company. You can go up there to the Liver 360 display, which has a hologrammatic display and also views, uh, panoramic views out of the buildings itself. You got the Beatles statues just in front of us. There's lots of people gathered around the Beatles statues right now. And then just beyond it is the ferry terminal itself. But we're turning left onto Canada Boulevard, named in honor of all the Canadians that died during the Battle of the Atlantic. <laughs> you see all these maple trees here. These were planted here in honor of all those Canadians because the maple leaf is the emblem of Canada, of course. And on the right hand side of the road in front of us, you have got the Liverpool Museum I spoke of before. The Liverpool Museum is completely free, like most of our museums and galleries is. And there is all sorts of exhibits in there. You can enjoy the song Liverpool Music as well. Enjoy the history of Liverpool Music, of course, is very illustrious, with the Beatles being the most popular band who ever lived, of course, uh, but also lots of other bands, like the Bunny Man, Chapita, the Zootons, the Coral. We are coming into stop number two now, which is our ferry terminal stop. If anybody wants this stop, anybody want this stop? Nobody wants this stop. Are you leaving me now, John? No, you're staying with me? Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Okay. So here we are now. 
at the ferry terminal. Over on the left are those people statues which have been there since 2015. They were put there to commemorate uh, 50 years since the last time the Beatles played together in Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So on your right, you've got the Port of Liverpool building, and on your left, the Cunard building. We are coming out onto the Dock Road now. About the seven and a half miles of Dock Road that we have here in the city. And this particular stretch is often used by, by filmmakers. So filmmakers use a lot of Liverpool. Uh, we have a Georgian Quarter where they make lots of costume dramas, and we also have this area where the architecture at street level looks a little bit tight. The architecture in places like New York and Chicago, and as a result, they make lots of scenes set in America around here. Uh, the building on the left, which is the uh, Liber Building, there, the Liber Building with the birds on top, the old home of the Liber Assurance Company, was used recently as Gotham City Police Station in the Batman film. And Batman jumped off the top of the Liber Building at one point. Okay, so we are going to turn left in a moment to take us into the cruise terminal. Before we do that though, look to your right, you can see Angelina. this beautiful church that's here. This is Our Lady and St. Nicholas. Our Lady and St. Nicholas. And there is a gold galleon on top of the building there, because it is the Sailor's Church that you're looking at. It's the Sailor's Church. We are coming into the cruise line the terminal now. Uh, this may not be on your translation, the cruise line return, or because it's a new edition, sort of. If you look to your front of us, to your left, you can see what looks like a golden galleon on the top of this mo mo monument here. This is a titanic monument. And it's the last thing you see just before you get on your cruise ship. Which is crazy, I think. It's a, a reminder of, you know, the greatest ship and disaster in history, just before you go out to sea. Uh, but we're turning around here, we're using this as a bit of a turn around, so you will get to see the views of the Liber Buildings again in just a moment. So here it is, coming up, the Liber Buildings now. The beds on top are the Liber Beds, which are the um, emblem of the city and have been for hundreds of years. There are two Liber Beds, one of them is looking out to sea for the safety of the sailors, and the other one is looking out to the city to see if the pubs are open there. And from that you're supposed to guess which is the male and which is the female. But I'm not sure that's a very modern way of looking at things really. Now those beds are 18 foot tall, so they're bigger than this bus, the Liber Beds. It's absolutely amazing. Just in front of us you have the McCure Hotel, which is shaped like the prow of a ship. And just behind it, the building with the green windows is where Liverpool Football Club deal with all their business on the 10th and 11th floors. To the left of us, you will be able to see, although I can't see it, but I expect it's there unless a lot's happened in the last hour, uh, is the tallest building in Liverpool, the Beacon Tower West. Can everyone make that out? Uh, on the 34th floor of that building, there is a restaurant called the Panoramic, which gives you some amazing views of the city while you're eating your soup. I'm not going to explain it any more than that. Okay, so we're coming into stop number three now, which is our Liverpool one shopping stop, and it's also the cabin stop. Does anybody want this stop? Oh, I hear the bell downstairs, I think. Is everyone staying with me? Good stuff. What I like to do. Okay, on your right you've got Debenhams, a little bit further along is a cost a lot of money coffee, and if you go in between those two buildings, you find yourself in Liverpool one, which has been on the shopping area since 2008. 2008 is also the year we were made European capital of culture, so we are a country bunch here in Liverpool, but everyone always tells us, so we're a country bunch here, and we're going to turn left here onto North John Street, and when we do, you'll see some Beatles statues. Prepare yourselves for Beatles statues now. Okay, so on the right-hand side, you've got Ringo coming up. Here's Ringo. And George Harrison. 
Then Paul McCartney finally John Lennon. This is a hard day's night hotel, a Beatles themed hotel. And this little side street that's here on the right is Matthew Street, the home of the Cavern Club where the Beatles played 292 times. An extremely important place in the history of rock and roll. And it's just down that street there. So we're coming on to Victoria Street now. Named after Queen Victoria, who was very fond of Liverpool. She was very fond of anything that made her an awful lot of money. And Liverpool certainly did that. You can see some of the wealth that the city once had within it reflected in these buildings along here. Because this was the old business district of town. Now Liverpool made an awful lot of its money from its involvement in the international slave trade. A lot of the goods that used to go out to Liverpool shops would be taken to Africa. Out in Africa those goods would be swapped for people. And those people would be taken to the land where they were sold and slaves. The profit would come back here. On your left you've got multicoloured pigeons on the side of the Bank of Liverpool. I hope everyone else can see the multicoloured pigeons, otherwise it's just me and I've got problems. Now the old Bank of Liverpool is now the St Thomas Hotel as you can see. Uh, but at one point Liverpool had both uh, a branch of the Bank of England as well as its own bank. At one time we could even print our own at one time we could even print our own money. There are people in Liverpool still printing their own money. Uh, so you know keep an eye on your change as well again. On the right hand side of us, this is the Met Quarter, which is a shopping centre and a little cinema as well. Uh, but it used to be the central post office that built, believe it or not. Now, we are coming up into what sometimes is referred to as the football quarter. The people of Liverpool are generally football mad. Now, I can't stand football myself, I have to say. I just love that straight with you there, you know, in case anyone was hoping to get involved in some sort of banter with me, I can't be bothered with any of that stuff. Uh, but it's hard to, you know, get through a whole Liverpool tour without some point. Oh yeah, you okay? Good stuff. If you look here next to you, can see the Walker Art Gallery, great old Victorian Art Gallery there. And just in front of us is the group of Wellington looking out towards the side of his most famous victory at the Battle of Walter. He must have great eyesight because water is in Belgium. If you look to your left here, you can see St. John's Gardens. St. John's Gardens was St. John's Cemetery. There were thousands of dead bodies buried here. In fact, most of the dead bodies are still buried here. So think about that if you're planning on having a pick. And also, it's probably best not to bring the dog. If you're looking here now though, just outside of the back, you can see what looks like a black and tan drum. This is the Hillsborough Memorial, dedicated to all those who lost their lives. And the Hillsborough is actually in 1989. On the right hand side of St. John's Lane, you've got Dr. Duncan's book. Dr. Duncan was our first Chief Medical Officer. He told the people of Liverpool to drink beer instead of water because the beer was distilled and therefore wouldn't carry cholera or typhoid or anything like that. But our people in Liverpool are still taking Dr. Duncan's advice seriously to this day. On your left you've got St. George's Hall which is from 1854. It's a beautiful building. This end of the hall is where the law court is. Just in front of us is Lime Street Station. Ethan, Ethan. 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 There it is. Oh, we came to watch Liverpool, so we came ah, to That's the station where you came through when you went to watch Liverpool. Okay. So that's Lime Street Station, which dates back to 1836. If you look to your left now, you can see the St. George's Hall in all its glory. It's a beautiful building designed by Harvey Longdale Elms. A lovely name, you know, they had lovely names in the old days. Uh, if you look to your right now though, you can see the Empire Theatre, which opened in 1925. But in 1965, we came to the very last place that the old played together in Liverpool. And that's 65-66 tour, which is the final tour that the old did, even though they continued as a band until 1970. They stopped performing live, live in the mid-60s. We are coming up, it was worth a little bit, it certainly was. Uh, we are coming up London Road now. It was the road to London. Uh, we also have the road to Scotland, very as well. So, so that's the end. Let's go to the end of the video. 
আবার নতুন ব্লগ আসবে তোমরা সেটা দেখো এনজয় করো তোমরা কমেন্টস করবে ভালো লাগবে শেয়ার করো এখন আমরা কতগুলো ফটো তুলে তারপর আবার বাসা উঠবো বলে ফুটবল ক্লাবে